Hey there, I'm Dr. Amy Alderman at North Atlanta Plastic Surgery. I want to talk to you about a breast lift that I call an auto augmentation. Not everybody wants an implant when they have a lift, and so we have an option to actually use your tissue and rearrange it, almost make it like it's your own implant. The nice thing about that is you're one and done. It's your own tissue and there's no maintenance with it. I want to talk to you a little bit about breast lifts and why do we need it. As we age, or if we've had children, sometimes the skin of our breasts gets um, stretched out and we become too relaxed. Our goal is for our nipple to be centered on our breast mound and all of the breast skin to be above the level of our fold here. And as our breasts become more relaxed, we have different grades of what we call ptosis, but it's just, I call it relaxation. That sounds better than sagginess. Uh, but as you can see, as this progresses, the nipple and the breast is in below that fold. You know, in, in uh, grade school, you heard it called the pencil test. So definitely if you can hold a pencil or two underneath your breast, we need to be talking about a breast lift. Breast lifts can be formed in a couple of different ways. What I think is more of an old fashioned technique that I don't use is called an anchor. I rarely use that technique. And that's where there's an incision under the fold. The way I like to do it is a short scar technique. It, I call it like a lollipop. So there's incision around the nipple and then one that goes straight down. I don't use, I rarely use that cut underneath. I like the shape of this better and I love the fact that it's less scarring. What does the auto augmentation do? Well, this tissue right down here in the middle, I need to do something with it. It's kind of in the way. We don't want that tissue hanging below our fold. If I can either remove it or move it, you're gonna have a longer lasting lift and a better shape. For my patients that feel like they're too big, this tissue here, I'm gonna get rid of it. And that allows me to advance that tissue and that tissue together. So we have a more narrow, lifted, rounder, perkier breast. For my patients that we need to maintain every bit of tissue and we need to try to maximize fullness and they don't want an implant, that's when I do the auto augmentation. This bit of tissue here, I turn it into a flap. I tuck it under and I tack it to the chest wall underneath the nipple and it allows us to get more projection behind that nipple and more fullness above the nipple. Not as much fullness as an implant would give, but definitely more fullness than they'd have if I didn't do it. This technique is fairly specific and you need to make sure that you go to somebody that's trained. The, the procedure involves fairly delicate work where we need to maintain the blood supply to this flap. It's not a traditional flap and so you need to go to somebody that's been experienced with this um, that can do it safely so that we keep the blood supply to the flap and your breast stays healthy. I feel really lucky I was able to train uh, by Dr. Betsy Hall Finley, who's really uh, one of the founders of this procedure, and I've learned a lot from her over the years. Um, and I love this technique. I love the flexibility of allowing you to rejuvenate your breast without the use of an implant. But again, it's a fairly specific and specialized procedure, and you want to make sure you go to somebody that has specialized training in it. So it's a great option now. If you want a breast lift, want to rejuvenate your breast, and you don't want an implant, I've got the perfect solution for you. Thanks.